use the electric spinning to produce nanofibers, and then the nanofibers will be embedded in the uh, layer of polymer solution. After drying, we'll get the nanofiber reinforced polymer film. And so we can cast our polymer solutions, and as it runs through, we can modify the surface with these fibers and put uh, another layer of functionality to the material. The polymer solution is inside the white bottles. By controlling the, the pressure, we, we can control the flow rate, which is the output rate of the polymer solution. And then you can see the pink cables. There are very high voltage on it. The electrical charge will overcome the surface tension of the polymer solution. So there will be a thin stream going out. The solvent in the solution evaporates completely. So we can collect the polymer nanofibers on the collector. If we use the electro spinning to produce fibers, we can get nanofibers, very thin fibers. And with these uh, very small fibers, the reinforcing effect is very good. Because the fibers are very thin, they are kind of transparent. We can make transparent conductive polymer film. For example, if the uh, you know the, the, the car windshield, if we embed these transparent conductive polymer nanofibers in it, it's totally transparent and conductive. So we can warm the windshield. And we can also do like a multi-layer casting which is similar, like um, produce different properties into a single product. One layer, we are introducing the flexibility to the product, and with another material, we are introducing the gas permeability. Mm -hmm.